I was going to talk a little bit about behavioral finance today. Um, that's really what I teach both in the Master of Finance program, the MBA program at Rotman. Um, so behavioral finance is the study of psych uh, psychology in financial markets. And uh, it's important. It's fairly recent. Unfortunately, it turns out to be not enough to make money for yourself or for clients to understand how people behave in financial markets. So the problem, the issue is basically the following. We know people have cognitive biases. We know people behave strangely. We know people are overconfident where everybody thinks they're better than the average. We know people get anchored on particular pieces of information too much. We know people look for information that confirms their own biases rather than subjecting themselves to criticism. So we know all of this. However, there's always multiple rational individuals in financial markets. You're going to have to trade against these rational financial um, participants. So what are you to do? What you need to do is understand both psychology as well as how financial markets function. So at Rotman, generally what we do is we look at research to guide how we can make progress in a particular area. So there's a recent paper in the Journal of Finance, and they did a very interesting study. They played a game. They played a game with you know, graduate students generally. And in the first stage of the game, they tried to identify what individuals were subject to cognitive biases. They weren't crazy, but they had some biases in how they processed information. About a third of the individuals had these biases. Now, this next step was interesting. They took these biased individuals and put them in an artificial financial market to try to understand what happens to prices when the traders are crazy in some way. And not surprisingly, the prices were crazy too. Then they took one of the people that they identified as rational and added him to that particular market. Not surprisingly, that individual made a lot of money. But here's the real kicker. What happens if you take two people who are rational and add them to crazy financial markets? Well, they compete away all the profits. Nobody gets rich anymore. Well, a little bit rich. And understanding that component is really, really important. So it turns out that predicting how rational investors behave when there are cognitively biased individuals around allows you to beat the market in some sense, allows you to beat and, and predict what might happen. So the upshot is the following. If you want to make money from psychology and financial markets, and we all think trader and investor psychology matters, if you want to make money, you have to first understand the psychology. Secondly, you have to understand the structure of markets, what we call the limits to arbitrage, how you can and cannot make unbounded profits. You have to understand how information flows and what models the rational investors use. If you put that together, the psychology and the understanding of financial markets, then you have a chance to succeed. If you only understand psychology or you only understand rational finance, you're pretty good at explaining what happens after the fact. If you can put the two together, you have a shot at predicting what might happen in the future. You have a shot at being ahead of the market and actually succeeding. And that's what we like to do at Rotman. We want to give you the different aspects of finance altogether and help you succeed.